How do you feel about where you are right now spiritually? How do you feel about the current state of your walk with Jesus Christ? For several weeks, we've been saying that that a disciple is somebody who follows Jesus, is being transformed by Jesus, and on mission with Jesus. But he's following Jesus. She's following Jesus. So if you're following Jesus Christ, and suddenly he stopped, turned around, and looked back at you, what would Jesus say? What would he think about how well you are following him? Are you close? Or are you hanging back? Are you close? Or are you constantly getting distracted by things off in this direction and that direction? And so you're getting off the path a little bit. Let me show you some Bible verses before we come to our primary text in Mark 4. Show you some verses on the screen just to kind of get us in the frame of mind to think about taking some steps with Jesus. That beautiful Psalm 23. Verse 3, he restores my soul. But notice this, he guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. That if you are following Jesus and being guided by him in life, you are walking on a path that is day after day making you more righteous. If your walk with Jesus, if your spiritual life is not moving you in the direction of the steps you are taking, are not moving you in the direction of becoming more Christ-like, more righteous, then you're not following Jesus the way you need to. He leads us, guides us, directs us on paths that produce righteousness, Christ-likeness. Psalm 17, verse 5. My steps have had fast to your paths and my feet not slip. Are you still following closely or like I said a moment ago, are you looking over here and over there getting distracted? Have you perhaps fallen down? Or are you keeping up with Christ? Are you following intimately with him, drawing closer to him, hearing him as he speaks to your heart and responding in obedience and, and, and growing? 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. He says, like newborn infants, newborn babes desire the pure milk or the sincere milk of the word, God's word. Why? So that you can grow. So that you can grow, not just in Bible knowledge, but so that you can grow in respect to salvation. The Bible talks about working out our salvation. Not that we are saved through works, but that once we are saved, once we are in Christ, we work out what that means. We work at showing what it means to follow Christ. We grow in this salvation are you growing or are you stuck are you growing or perhaps have you slipped back from where you once were in Jesus